All right, gather round, folks, because we're about to dive into the whimsical world of White Day. The day when Cupid takes a detour and sweetens the deal. So, it all starts in Japan, back in the 1970s. Picture this. Valentine's Day just happened, and the pressure is on the guys. The ladies gave them chocolates, and now, it's payback time. But not with just any chocolates. Oh no, it's got to be a notch above, it's White Day. Now, why White Day, you ask? Well, it's not about the color, it's about the purity of intention. On March 14th, exactly a month after Valentine's Day, guys reciprocate with gifts, often white themed. Think marshmallows, white chocolate, or even, in some cases, white lingerie. Yes, things can get spicy. But here's where it gets interesting. The level of sweetness is like a sugar rush of emotions. If a guy's interested, he might go all out with a bouquet of white flowers, a heartfelt letter, or even a fancy dinner date. If he's not so keen, well, he might stick to the basics. It's like decoding romantic Morse code through gifts. And oh, the art of decoding doesn't end there. There's this tradition called, Sanbai Gashi, in Japan, which roughly translates to, triple the return. It's a sweet rule of reciprocation. The gift you give on White Day should be three times the value of what you received on Valentine's Day. Talk about keeping the gift economy thriving. Now, let's hop over to South Korea, where White Day has its own unique flavor. Brace yourselves for the Pepero phenomenon. You know those thin chocolate-covered sticks? Well, on White Day, they're exchanged in hopes that they'll stick together like a sweet symbol of romance. It's like saying, our love is as unbreakable as this crunchy delight. But wait, there's more. In Taiwan, they've added a playful twist. It's not just about romantic love, it's also a day to express gratitude to friends. So, if you're not in the lovey devey zone, you can still celebrate the sweetness of friendship on White Day. Who said love had to be exclusively romantic? Now, let me sprinkle in a bit of humor. In Japan, they've coined a term for those who didn't receive any Valentine's Day chocolates. They're the lonely, lonely ones. But fear not, because White Day is their redemption arc. It's like a rom-com plot unfolding in the world of confectionery. And here's a quirky fact for you. In some places, they take the white theme quite literally. Ever heard of the toilet paper cake? Yes, it's a cake made to look like a roll of toilet paper, all in the spirit of white day humor. I guess love can be as soft as a roll of two-ply. So, whether you're decoding the hidden messages in your white day gift, sticking together like Pepero, or just enjoying the hilarity of a toilet paper cake, this day is all about adding a spoonful of sugar to the cup of romance. It's a reminder that love, in all its forms, is worth celebrating and sometimes, a good laugh is the sweetest gift of all.